All right, people, like, share, and subscribe. If not, they're gonna take my allowance away. Wait. Kid. My allowance. <coughs> Subscribe. Perfect. Well, another day, another uh, a little bit of work down on the 61 Pontiac. Uh, well, most of the gangs here. Uh, we're gonna attempt to well get rid of the motor shiny and attempt to put the car uh, frame underneath the car and lower it down, and then. Uh, and then we can start with the back motor mounts, drilling holes, as we showed you You mean before. body mounts? Body mounts, yeah. You keep calling them motor mounts. Eh, same thing. It's a Chevy. <laughs> motor mounts would probably fit in the back, too. Probably. Alrighty, I guess we'll set the yep. A-frame up. So we got to get rid of this, move this forward, backward, lift the car up a bit more, and slide it underneath. And put new body mounts on and see how things line up. Before the rain before. comes back. Yeah, before it rains. Again. I'm just sitting there. Alright. Okay, let's get to work. Can you grab the other strap? Just kinda. Okay. The front end will have to go be shimmied over. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Right. The whole thing will have to be Come over. Yeah, I might as well grab the keys and open the trunk. And Now we're just jacking up on the body to get that out. Um, can, well, we we need can also let the, that side down. Okay, I'm gonna let these down. All the way or? Yeah. This one you get full or how is? Yeah. All right. Oh yeah, you let her down, Ken? Yeah, down. Oh, he's down. Oh, down all the way. Yeah. You want a long cord? Okay. All right. What's up? It's raining. Mm -hmm. Very 
increase. It's raining men. Hi, right, Derek. I can go down? Yeah, we're in the ballpark. Yeah, we're gonna be pretty close. We might have to do a little bit of... Oh, right, we're gonna have to. Yeah, I'm pretty happy right there. Yeah, right there is basically where, at least on this, well, that side. Sounds like my back in the morning. <laughs> and that's gonna work out good with some amount to go through here. Yeah. We got that gap, which is yep. perfect. Yeah, because there's, yeah, there's exactly where our mount's gonna go right there. Hey Chris, I know it gave us good luck. The book club. Huh? So what is the bolt holes all good? Yeah, they're lined up. I'll double check the front again. But yeah, I can stick my finger in there and stick my pinky in there. So yeah. Just yeah, we'll ha we can bolt the front in once we get fresh new bolts and then we might have to just tweak the back end over just to make sure it's perfect anymore mm-hmm look the trunk doesn't close Barbecue in the rain. Now the original front mounts had different shims, so we have no idea if we need them. Uh, yeah, we'll have to figure out if we need the shims. Oh, that's right too, because we got the. Yeah. Remember, we got the shims over yeah. there. Yeah. I'd put them back in. Yeah. Yeah, I guess so, cause that's the way they were. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Just saying. I'll be back. I'll be back. See ya. No, no, Case, that's not the deal. Yeah, just in time, the rain's coming. Yep. This is what I talk about, people. I come home from work, and it rains. <laughs> I have this two stories. Yeah. Nice. We'll leave that there if we still have to do a bit of Yeah, I'm going to leave the A-frame up for a while. Yeah. yeah. What I think I'm going to do next is make a list, because there's the 20 little things that need still to be done. we got to do the back mount. Uh, we got to do the inside of the rockers still. we got to do the front quarters there. Finish well the that. Seam seal it. Finish hooking up the clutch pedal. Uh, yeah, I gotta weld in the uh, those back four support things for our uh, oh, yes. parcel tray. Got to put in the seat mount or for the back seat. Those uh, right. We're gonna have to measure where the yeah. That's pretty. I see the yeah. original floor humps and all that stuff. So it's pretty, pretty idiot proof. The old blue hairs. They even know what we're doing. <laughs> all right. All right. All right. Well. I think we came up with a game plan. I'm gonna buy you supper for coming out. And Kevin's gonna buy Derek yeah. supper. We're going to Subway. Eat fresh. Uh, refresh. Refresh. Unless Gerald is in there. <laughs> or, is he still in jail? Gerald's in jail. We'll get around with half. <laughs> you can't say things like that. Yeah, he's getting what he deserves. Hopefully, but never mind. Anyway. anyway. And let's go for supper. Yeah, it's the I guess the first uh, floor replacement we've done. Rattle, rattle, rattle. Mm -hmm. All right, we'll be back. Well, the crew's back in. Penny's Hot Rods and Customs working on the Pontiac. Anyway, uh, I didn't film a lot of it because I don't want to bore you guys. But anyway, it's uh, all welded up. Those things are all welded up. Uh, I got to uh, finish welding that up, but I ran out of MIG wire, so that's all replaced. Yep. Don't show now. Yep. True stories. Anyway, we'll work for a little bit now. I don't know what time is, anything around 12 o'clock, I think. Uh, we gotta go get an engine maybe for this. 
Maybe might might not be for this. We don't know yet. Could be a turd. Could be good. It's a 327. The short block. I don't know the history on it. The kid that I bought off didn't know the history on it. His dad passed away, I think, a few years ago. So it's been sitting in dry storage. So you people know about as much as I do. The only thing I do know on this block, and I didn't realize <laughs> till afterwards because I took a picture of it. It's on the pistons. It's got a stamping L2211. So you Chevy guys should know what that is. So I'm thinking it might not be a good engine for this. Who knows? It could be a turd. It could be a who knows? Price was right, so we're gonna go pick that up in about 20 minutes. So. Exciting times. That's what happens when you, you know, you got nothing to do at work and you just sit on your phone all morning, you know, on Kijiji scrolling shit and everything else and Facebook marketplace and whatnot. So if it is good, I need a set of heads, so. But anyway. And you get paid for doing this. I get paid for doing that, yeah. Well, the way I look at it, they said on the news one time, uh, on an average, people get paid 20 for 20 minutes a day. They sit on the can, playing on their phones or whatever they do, and they get paid to do this. So I might as well sit at my desk and look at Kijiji. Anyway, enough rambling. What are you guys gonna do? Start working in the back there? You betcha. Alrighty, I'm gonna uh, finish that off and I'll finish hooking up the clutch pedal. Should really get rid of that block. peed on it too many times. Yeah, something's pissed on it. Whatever pissed on it's probably now at that McDonald's or Burger King. <laughs> <laughs> pick up Corey's new uh, purchase of a 327 I think Z. boat anchor What's um, your in here? yeah we're just going for lunch and at the little known place you might have heard of is Popeyes way over there right, or we can right go behind to, us we can go to Fo, Fo Hong I'd go Eddie there the hell's a Fo Hong I don't know it's at this new uh, mallish thing they call them all. Oh, my legs are falling asleep. Your legs. You just went to DQ, Chris, to be faster and easier. Yeah, but DQ. Are you still horrible. filming or no? I can watch you pull my pants. There's Popeyes. Could have went to Ron Ronnie's. No, no one goes to Ronnie's. Oh, we can get our Theravate. Uh, well, uh, these guys are really hungry, so we'll, uh, after lunch, we'll get back to the 327. You also talk about how my chicken had water. Oh, yeah, Cor Corey was very disappointed with his Popeyes. It actually ran a crap ton of water, chicken tender, so I don't know what that deal was about, so he's very discouraged about that today. But here's the, here's the 327. I uh, don't the year of it. It does, it does have uh, a number back here. That's what we get home there. It does have um, the old 2211 uh, pop up pistons. It has ran with them. I don't know what size of head they had on this one. So, you know, your compression's kind of up ballpark and like 11, 11 and a half could be as high as 12, depending with really squeeze heads on it. Standard bore engine had a double roller tank chain on it. So, you take a chance and hope it's good. I mean, the, the guy he bought it off of really didn't know too much. His old man had bought it. Or was building it. I was supposed to go into that vet there, but I guess not going to happen. And uh, yeah, of course, just putting the money in the tractor as instructed right now. So uh, this is for I believe a '61 Pontiac. There was another. Mm -hmm. There was another crappy motor back there, but that one I think is staying behind because you know, just a standard 350, I guess. So this one, like I said, well, he's rolling the dice on this one because you never know. We'll pull it apart and see what you get. Hopefully it's not a total turd. I, last time I bought a 350, it was supposed to be a good runner. Pull it apart. Two two spun mains and a spun uh, a spun or sorry two spun rods and a spun main. So yeah, it was a turd. But yeah, she's definitely got some miles on it. I mean, you can see that it has ran with these pistons on it. Like I said, we'll take that apart and see. Surprise! It's standard bore. Yep. So hopefully it's okay. But I mean, you know, again, you take a chance. So if you look at mm -hmm. they even made a homemade oil pan. They extended it. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. <coughs> Just get him to. Yeah, okay. Ready? Yeah. Holy crap! 
We are getting too old for this shit, folks. Okay, very gently. We'll probably back the truck up to it, I think. No, yeah, because I don't want to move too much. Because I said we're just literally right oh, okay. on. Yeah. The Corey's not even on. So it's going to keep this a little bit better here, Corey. There you go. go. That's what I wanted. Okay. okay. Now we can do what oh, we yeah. can do. Watch it. Yeah, I'm fine. Alright. This is not safety first, folks. What could possibly go wrong? We're good. Not going to go wrong. Yeah, I'm curious about the oil pan. So probably in the next one of the upcoming videos, I'll put it on stand. Was it a real, like, was that a, no, that, I think that was a, like a bought oil pan. Like it was like bought, like someone, like a company made it. All right. I, I just know it could be a whole meter, but. Hey, you can see the carbon deposits in it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, you can see around the. Shit. I can't all the time. What There's a little doohickey I made to go into the back here with a crane, but uh time you set it up there's a lot of work, but mm -hmm. oh. What do you say, Christopher? You're usually pretty surly on this stuff. Yep. <clears throat> I got nothing good to say. So you're not gonna say anything at all? Exactly. Hmm. Gosh, I had free money. I've been selling myself on the streets for money, people. Uh, I don't think you get much for that. <laughs> no, probably not. Look at me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it'd be nice if there was a set of heads around there. Yeah. Okay, so we got the uh, little 327 home. Hmm. Here comes Ryan. I guess he's taking off. You look like him. There you go. Was it a turd or? Hey? Was it a turd? I don't know. No, it cleaned up all right. Oh, yeah, we're yeah, we're flipping it. We're going to pull the pan off in a minute. small journal uh 1969 uh some sort of fancy engine 67 oh, oh hypo whatever so anyway i guess what we're gonna do and yeah, even notice like i said it's got it uh, somebody extended the oil pan so uh we're gonna just flip it on its back there i don't feel like pulling it apart today but we're gonna pull a pan at least just check a couple rod bolts main bolts like i said we're gonna take it and hone it and whatnot and go through it and well i guess we'll determine what kind of shape it is in a few minutes here but uh see what it's all about yeah, you see what the history of it is. See, well, it'd be nice to know the history, but like I said, when I bought it off the guy, guy he was a younger fellow, and I don't think he knew much about it, so. Anyway, I guess we'll flip it up, and uh, yeah, I guess we'll pull the pan off and see what's what, so we'll be back in a minute. Not like doing this in the back truck on the street. I say we should put an engine stand on the street and take it apart on the street. Everybody disagrees with me. <laughs> you can just do it right in front of the air. That'd be disrespectful, because I don't want to get grease in there. There's benches. You can sit on the bench or you use the bench as a oh, workbench. Yeah, then the, the fancy people of the town would drive by and see it. And, uh, he just lived down there. Yeah, I, I don't think we'd... Uh, What's I'd, he going to do? Uh, we're kind of in a good book now. Yeah, it's bad mm -hmm. enough I had blocked my lane. Well. <laughs> All right, we'll be back in a minute. Okay, fellas, we uh, tipped it up on its side. Uh, we pulled out uh, a piston and we should have filmed it, but uh, we put it back in. Uh, it was just the number one cylinder. Uh, Derek mic'd everything up. Everything was in good. Uh, the cylinder, because these are forged pistons, and we understand, Book was telling me, that uh, you need about six, uh, 7,000 sperm. <laughs> Shut up. For uh, clearance for the pistons, for forged pistons, and everything just mics right. You were quiet for like an hour. Shh. I'm on camera. You know who I am? So anyway, everything kind of mics out. Let's do this. There we go. Oh, that's why. Caught around your thing. Anyway, let's try this again. 
So anyway, everything kind of mic'd out. Uh, like I said, the block we will, or when I get around to it, I will take the whole block apart and uh, completely clean it. Uh, we did check the bearings of the rod and a few mains. They were all good. Everything's still uh, standard stamping. Nothing's never, nothing's ever been ever machined. Uh, it is a forged crank, two bolt main. But uh, the rods have been smoothed and everything. It looks like it's been balanced. Because we've seen a lot in the bottom of the pistons. They've been drilled and everything like that. Like I said, we should have filmed it, but uh, never thought about it, to be honest. An oil pan. The oil pan, yeah. It's, if it could talk, it's got a good, it hit something good. Neat pan. Yeah, I know. It's got little baffles in it. So that's pretty cool. Yeah. So I don't know the history on everything. That's all you want to do is be held, eh? Spoil I think it's a win. I think so. But uh, I think what we're going to do next is I'll uh, just take the, uh, the, uh, the camo and just check that and see if there's a number on it. Like I said, when uh, we are going to work on this, obviously it's going to come right apart, then we'll probably uh, uh, hone it ourselves, give it a little nicer hone finish. But yeah, no, uh, forged crank, you know, with, uh, the good pink rods and uh, forged pistons, not bad. Bailey says, thumbs up. I think you should win. I think so. I don't think you're very much of I don't think so either. I would uh, love to know the history on it. I said, we'll never know unless there's any local guys around. But I don't. We'll never know. Just like Coy said, I don't know who Uncle Fred is. Yeah, who knows. Also, too, mm -hmm. I don't, I've don't. i never seen two on another. I guess it's an early Chevy. I've never noticed. But here's your uh, hole for your uh, ball for the uh, clutch for the uh, pivot there. And I guess there's one here, too. I never noticed that before. I've never seen it on another Chevy, but I guess it's maybe an earlier one. Yeah, it's strange that it's still standard bore. Yeah, I know. So. That destroyed for, for being and it's engine. And it's all in spec. Like. Yeah, exactly. I don't think it had many miles on it. I checked your shoulders and all within half a thousand each other. They're good. And it also has someone stamped a 9, 11, 10. And then there's 10, 10, 10, 11. I thought those were bore sizes, but that can't be because... That would be when you uh, bore the thing out. So I don't know if that's weights maybe they're putting. Maybe when they uh, But that would it. That'd be, you usually don't put it on the engine, but. I don't know. So if anybody knows out there in TV land. I can't see that being factory, but it's possible. Yeah. I think that's the size of your shoulders. I'm sure somebody will let us know in the comments. Would they do that factory? Yeah. If, 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 if it's kind of a, a pan to your block. Oh well, I guess let's uh, put the pan on. Like I said, everything's going to come apart when it comes time to uh, put it together. And I'll, uh, we'll clean up everything and mic the rest of the block. This was just a kind of a quickie just to see yeah, if... Yeah, we just uh, want to see what we're looking at here. Yeah. And like I said, we'll pull the cam out in a minute since there's no lifters. Anyway. Well, the lifters are garbage because they're... No, you may be a gasket. See, see if Corey's investment was good. Okay, people, <laughs> I'll be honest. I paid 700 bucks for this. Do you think it was worth it or not? Like I said, I originally wanted just to break well, I'll put the dog down. <laughs> <laughs> I originally just wanted a, just a whatever engine. A typical small block just for the uh, Pontiac there, but I don't know. Maybe this might be too good for it. Do you want me to tilt it back? I've wasted more than $700 in stuff. Yeah, and also a buy. You know, the funny thing over there is we have an engine stand. Yeah. yeah. That's... It would have been smart, but then, like I said, after we're done this, we'll just put it in the front garage and tarp it up. And... So anybody out locally, that if they got any good set of heads there. Not worn out. No. If not, I'll talk to a buddy, but we'll see. Well, at least there's a camshaft in it. And you see they grind that and ground that for... Might be easier doing it this way. Timing chain clearance. Yeah, it hasn't been run much because you can still see, like... 
Yeah. It's not. No, you haven't. Uh... And what's the number on them? I can't tell you. We'll take it up. P. Uh, it might be E. Uh, I'll Google, Google it in a second. When yeah. Yeah. E, P, e D maybe L L seven one oh two maybe? Yeah, I'll Google it in a second. Or it might be L P, L L no it's E D E L. Yeah, E D E L seven one zero two. Alright, I'll Google it in a second there. Alright. Cam bearing looks pretty good. Stand on there. Alright, yeah, one second, Chris. What's that number? E D E L seven one zero two. E D E L E D E L E L E L uh seven one oh two. Seven it's got two numbers. It's got two numbers though. Okay, it's an L Brock cam. Seven one oh two. And that'll brought cam and lifters. Uh, 308 18 lift, 488 10, uh, 510 uh, separation. Can I turn the lift on both sides? Uh, 308 and a 408. Or 488, sorry, my bad. 488. Let's just turn on the lift. That much wear on it. That's the strange part. The yeah. hydraulic flat is for a street strip. Yeah, it's weird. Standard bore. Aftermarket pistons. A mic out. Great. The uh, rod bearings are standard, the main bearings are standard, so it hasn't been, hasn't been bored or anything like that. Yeah, it's for metal block. The cam looks almost brand new-ish. So yeah, I'll see if I'm going to use this uh, cam, if not, like I said, I've got other. You got to lean on like you own it. Anyway, I hope you guys like this little video. We got the uh, small block in my front garage. Sorry, it's kind of a hodgepodge of stuff. We did have plans today of uh, finishing off the uh, back there, but uh, yeah, tomorrow's another day. The floor is uh, done. The floor is done. Yeah, I finished all the floors. Everything's done. That's finally done. So I'm going to finish doing the steering column. And actually, no, it isn't done because I got to do the mounts for the back seats. For oh, wow. That's. Yeah, that's peanuts. But other than that, it's all done inside. So anyway, guys, sorry about the video. It's kind of all over the map. But remember, like, share, subscribe, leave a comment. And uh, anything about the small block would be greatly appreciated. I'm going to do some research on it, but I couldn't be happier. Anyway, uh, the motor won't be going in here. But anyway, I'll catch you guys on the next one. I'm not sure what we're going to do tomorrow if we're working on this or Project Supercar. You'll have to see that on an upcoming video. Anyway, we'll see you on the next one.